Hell's Kitchen. When the United States Marines marched into Hell's Kitchen. What an honor to cook for all of these men and women. Both the veterans and the talented rookies were determined. This kind of means a real lot to me. I was in the Navy. To have their kitchen feed their Marines first. My brother's a Marine, so let's kick ass for him. Gizzy made a careless mistake. The water's not even fucking boiling. That required fucking some basic hell. training. Our water needs to be boiling for the pasta. But the red team managed to rally back. Red team, keep it up. Yes, sir. Yes. In the blue kitchen. Who dressed this? Sorry, chef four ingredients in the salad. What the hell is wrong with you? A number of veterans were forced into triage mode at Jen's Salad Station. Make them please look a lot nicer. How about you worry about your french fries and leave me alone? And that had a damaging effect. How long on fries? I just walked have... over here. Fries, Heather, it's just fries. That resulted in a blue team loss. Congratulations, Woo! well done. And yeah. a rookie celebration. You ever heard the marine policy? No man left behind? Yes, yes sir. sir. You left your fucking brains behind at dinner service. I honestly don't know what the fuck has happened. Oh, no. Gizzy struggled again. Look how dry that is. It's like my soul that he's just, like, tearing apart. Until Jose bailed her out. Six minutes to the window, chef. I got you, Gizzy. While in the veteran's kitchen, Jen went from bad. Young lady. What am I doing wrong now, chef? Don't fucking talk to me like that. To worse. You're trying to clown me up in here right now, chef. You just say that to me. Don't you dare. I didn't tell okay, Don't you yes. dare. To right out of the competition. You trying to sabotage like, me, right? Really? You set me where? up. Get out. Nothing. Get out. You haven't got it. You know that. With Jen gone, Chef Ramsay gave the rest of the chefs a break. Nobody is leaving this competition tonight. Yes. Keeping them all in the hunt to become the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen Veterans vs. Rookies. Are you kidding me? Yo, the the best Looney Tunes. What? That is Looney Tunes at its finest, bro. Jen had the opportunity that people would kill for to come back a second time, and she spits on Chef Ramsay's face like that? What the fuck are you thinking? I know a motherfucker that'll slit my throat to be where I am right here. Yep. Yeah, I was, I was telling Scott Lee earlier, though, you can't even go into your own room sometimes. I heard you knocking earlier, like, can I come in? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, dude, because all the fucking ladies fucking whatever. Uh, can I move into the boys' room? A lot of sexy ladies. For real. Yo, Mia, dude. <laughs> Obviously, we all know Mia has a fucking big-ass booty. <laughs> dude, if she wasn't so aggressive, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Chill out here. <laughs> Having fun yet? Well, I'm not gonna go that far. Like, it just feels like work. Yeah. I came here to cook in front of one of the best chefs in the world. Yeah. I'd rather just, like, shut my mouth, do the best I can do, which is what I usually do. Nice. You might have saw some black jackets sitting there on the couch while you saw some elimination people sitting out there by the hot tub tonight. You underestimated a little bit. I'd rather be underestimated. So why? Because then everybody's pleasantly surprised when you succeed. Or unpleasantly surprised. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, bring, bring it, it on. on. Chef Ramsay has asked us to deliver these jackets to you. Oh, no. Please put them on. Here you go. Yo, I hope we get to keep these. We see jackets. We're in 90 degree LA. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. I'm a little confused. I feel like something very is about to happen. Dirty. Oh, <laughs> chef. Line up, please. Oh, yes, no. Let's go. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> There we are. Whoa, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Hell has frozen over. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a competition. Oh, no. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, you'll be competing in the Hell's Kitchen sled race. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a relay. So there'll be two people in the sleigh, and there'll be one person pushing it. The winning team will earn an advantage in today's challenge. Let's go. 
Oh my God. Any of these physical, racy type deals, I get a little nervous. Let's just hope the old folks don't need any walkers after this. One. Here we go. Two. Three. Go! Heather and I were the first ones to go, and we just got speed. If there's nothing else today, well, at least we get to do a little bit of sledding. Blue's out. Never went sledding before. Who thought that I'd be sliding down a slope today? I'm like pissed off right now. I don't know what happened. Oh, God run. <laughs> she ate that snow. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! Go! 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 Is this really happening? Rookies, you know, we're all younger, we're all more fit, so it's a little embarrassing. Man, blue team, <laughs> great job. You have a big advantage. The dish you're about to make is the perfect treat on a cold winter day. For today's challenge, I'm looking for each of you to make an incredible, mind-blowing bowl of soup. And you'll be making your soups right over there. When I heard that we were making soups, it just brought me back to my lead line cook days. They called me the soup man. If you can make a good soup, you could be a great chef. Now, All Stars Blue Team, you have a 10-second head start to grab everything you need to create a stunning soup. And you have 45 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Go, blue team. I'm extremely irritated with that 10 second lead. They're going to snatch all of the good ingredients. Two, one, red team, go. Let's go. Behind you. Coming in. Behind, behind. You're popping. Yeah? You're not doing soy sauce or anything, you're broke. No, no, soy, it's so salty, yeah. and then you can't really control it. I'm going to do a, a Vietnamese-inspired pho. It's very ambitious to do a good pho stock in 45 minutes. God, that needs so much love. The soup I'm doing is uh, spicy butternut squash soup. I've made this many times, and fucking sells out like hotcakes. Tell me how this is working. I'm just putting it as a garnish chef okay. on top. OK, cheddar is popping. What are you going for? Pasta fajol, that with ham and some herbs. Pasta okay. Three minutes. What am I missing? It smells so fucking good. 90 seconds. Come on, guys, push it. Five, four, Boom. three, coming up, coming up hot. two, one. Hands up. Well done, guys. Thank you, Chef. Great job. Yes. I brought in two incredible guest judges. She is one of the top chefs in the country and has been awarded two James Beard Award. Nice. Wow. Please welcome Tracy Desjardins. Now, hey. chef. Chef Desjardins, I mean, she's a rock star. Well, Thank you, chef. she's been honored several times, James Beard host. She knows what she's doing. You have a great vegetable winter soup, a jardinier. Yes. Give us a little insight to the magic of that dish. You always want the balance. You want a little bit of acid, salt, a little bit of texture on there. That's the ideal soup. Can't agree more. Right, our second judge. He's a two-time figure skating world champion and an Olympic gold medalist, Brian Boitano. Wow. Wow. What would Brian Boitano, what would Brian do? Brian Boitano do? I know what Brian Boitano is going to do. Give me a perfect score. This amazing skater has written an incredible cookbook. Thank you. Uh, what, what would Brian, Brian Boitano, Boitano make? make? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Jinx. Blue team. First up, Trevor. For the first ever soup challenge in yes, Hell's yes. Kitchen history, each of the judges will be scoring the dishes from one to three stars. Please be careful. The team with the most stars wins the challenge. Uh, today I did a carrot and coconut soup with a Cajun curry shrimp. Uh, Flavor-wise. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful texture. I don't really get the herb in there. Um, uh, the coconut's kind of dominant. Other than that, the soup tastes delicious. Yeah. I love the contrast of the crunchiness with the creaminess of the soup. Judges, 
Excellent. Uh, six points for the blue team. Good yeah. start. Thank you. Thank you. It's rough being the first one judged because the judges always hold back a little bit. I've never seen anybody get a perfect score right out of the gate. Heather, please, describe your suit. In front of you, you have a andouille and lobster corn chowder. When you combine andouille and lobster and corn, it's like, where can you go wrong? I like the spiciness. It's got a good kick. Thank you, yeah. Chef. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Right, next up, Ariel. Up next, Ariel's fried chicken miso ramen. Love the flavor. Great textures. Yeah. I like the perfume of the seaweed. I think it's really lovely. I love the color of the broth, and I really like the funkiness. Look at that depth of authenticity in there. Gives the blue team another nice. seven points. And tea's Appalachian-inspired soup. A celery velouté and a little bit of spicy pickle shrimp. Love the flavors, the textures. Visually, it's beautiful, and the chicken skin is really amazing. It's absolutely delicious. Garners a near-perfect score. Yeah, Next up. Kevin, you and uh, Brian are the same barber. I know. <laughs> yes, we do, Chef. Kevin's classic New England clam chowder. It's delicious. The textures are lovely. I was hoping for one little errant clam that I could eat with the soup, but it's good. Wow. Delivers a solid score. Next, Ro hopes to wow the judges with her. Vietnamese-style pho. We have yet to win a challenge, so today would be a great day to get out of the kitchen, not have to prep for service, and get a reward. I'm missing a little bit of salt. It needs more body for me. I'm missing the acid. Just a squeeze of lime at the end, just to give it that balance. All right, all right. All right. If they had a zero, they probably would have held that shit up. Last up for the veterans is Brett, who's hoping a big score on his soup will make it more difficult for the rookies to surpass his team's total. Today, I've prepared a tomato basil soup with uh, crispy pancetta and orzo with a roasted garlic crostini chef. What kind of tomatoes did you use? Uh, canned uh, palato de pomodoro. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. In today's soup challenge, Brett is the last Hell's Kitchen veteran to present and has just served his tomato and basil soup with pancetta. What kind of tomatoes did you use? Uh, canned uh, palato de pomodoro. Jesus. Wow. You use canned tomatoes? You're an Italian. Were they salted before you started? Um, I cooked them down with salt, Chef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there tomato puree in there? Uh, a little bit of paste, Chef. Paste, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I find it a little salty. And I don't taste enough of the pancetta. Sorry, right. right, Brett. Hey, Brett. It's all right, guys. Uh, Blue Team, you came out the gate strong there, and then it's pitted off. Okay, Mia, let's go, please. Yes, sir. 41 is the score to beat, and up first for the rookies is Mia with her. Brown butter and butternut squash soup with some crispy Brussels sprouts. Very, very nice. Yeah, Thank the, you, Chef. The marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Brussels sprouts, green yep. winter, croutons, fried in brown butter. And it's amazing. I'm going to get to the end, and I want more. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, yes. Chef. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just want to rub it in the blue team's face, like, you know, like, in your face, like, like, ah! <laughs> After Mia's perfect score, Motto is hoping to wow the judges with his southern spiced sweet potato soup. Not to only warm your bellies, but warm y'all souls. The flavors are fantastic. I'm just not getting any of that acid. The base is really complex, which is nice. You keep discovering things every bite that you take. Thank you. Yeah. Next. Delicious. Gizzy, is this pickled fennel? It's quick pickled fennel, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Nice touch. Gizzy blows the judges away with her celery and fennel soup, earning another perfect score for the red team. Thank you, guys. Chris, let's get this one. Uh-oh. They're doing pretty darn good right now. Chef, what I have here is a spicy butternut squash soup with fried tomatoes and fried jalapenos, then tossed in uh, brown sugar. Wow. Brian, how's that for you? When you first served it, I felt it looked like melted cheese. I can't imagine getting to the bottom of this, this bowl. Yes, Chef, thank you. Thank God somebody sucks on that team. Jose, let's go, please. Jose is up next with his soy miso soup and vegetables. I like the intensity. I like the funkiness of it. Easy to eat. Everything fits on your spoon. Yeah. Uh, got great textures in there. Really lovely. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Scott Lee. We need the red team to stumble twice. We might have a chance if they stumble twice. They have to. I'll have a saffron potato leek with some crispy Brussels sprouts, a butter poached lobster knuckle and tail. Love the texture, mm -hmm. a nice little uh, airiness to it. It's a beautiful marriage with the texture of the soup. Woo. Yes! Hell yeah. Booyah, it's awesome. done. Like, we got this. It's over. Good job. Rookies, you have beaten the All-Stars, and you still got one soup to taste. Big blow. That was a big body blow right there. Can I? The texture of the roasted mushrooms is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Kanae's dish receives the third perfect score for the rookies as they dominate the veterans. Yeah. If I put my scarf on backwards, like, I was thinking of Tupac, like, thug life. I'm about to kill this shit. Some great soups today. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. Honestly, I want all of you to thank these two incredible judges for giving up their day thank to be you. here. Thank you so much. Red team, <laughs> you're off for a luxurious day and night. What? Of pampering. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> at Laurie's own resort and spa in Palm Springs. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Now, say goodbye to the blue team. Bye, bitches. Go wild and have some fun. Thank you, Chef. Victory is golden, man. I'm filled with diamonds right now. This is the best one yes. so far. I'm so excited. We took their heart yeah. and we took their soul. Blue team, as the red team are selling themselves in Palm Springs, that incredible resort, you'll be here in Hell's Kitchen shoveling up and transporting all this snow, 30 tons of snow, needs to go. Yes, Chef. Head to the patio. Jockey will call you when we're ready to start shoveling this snow. Man, I'm disgusted with myself. I let myself down, my team down. Yeah, on my behalf, sorry, y'all. Let y'all down big time. Ugh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, Dev. Sorry, don't. don't. Fuck! Sorry. What the fuck? With my fucking team down, man. Shake it off. We can't dwell. You don't know me, bro. Like, as much as Chef Ramsay criticizes me, he'll never criticize me like I criticize me. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Your team knows you fucked up. You don't need to keep bringing it up. Disgusted right now myself, yo. Give me a break. With raw passion comes raw emotion, homie. And I'm emotional ass nigga. Suck it up, Buttercup. Pounds, please. Here we are. Woo. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. This is like, crazy. Oh, wow. I'm so ready for this. Yes. Chef Ramsey, he hooked us up. My husband would kill me if I didn't have a cover-up. I wonder what the blue team is doing right now. I think like, they're probably crying. Yeah. <laughs> We're a good team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I'm up in heaven, I'll be like, oh, man, remember when I was in fucking Palm Springs, Jesus? Uh, that was some good shit. While the red team is whooping it up in steamy Palm Springs, the veteran blue team is scooping it up back at Icy Hell's Kitchen. I know. Let's go back on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> at the time, it sounded like a great idea. We got 30 tons. You know how much a ton is? That's a car. Hey, you got some big chunks you'll feel like shoving them to me. I'll just throw them motherfuckers over there. I'm waiting for a wheelbarrow. Might as well. Brett is a roller coaster of emotions. And I don't want to be on this ride. Look at this, Gizzy. Murata. It's definitely a date night type restaurant. I haven't been in a date in a while, so I'm super happy to be here right now. <laughs> what is that, the sea grass? Yes. The food at Sopa is 
unbelievable. Thank you. This is a one hell of a reward. He's not bringing us here just to eat. It's really to, like, you know, to enjoy the day, but to yeah. earn something. We got the momentum. We win the next one. They're going to have to call us the All-Stars. Oh. <laughs> Red team. Hoorah. <laughs> Hey, seriously, guys, should we get one more toast? With their long day on snow duty behind them. The beef prep. So I'm going to do the poached eggs. The veterans are up early, prepping both kitchens for tonight's dinner service. Man, I'm just living in Eggland today. How are we doing? The test batch was fine. These are going to be too hard, because by the time you reheat that, that's going to overcook. OK, so that batch goes out. Start over again. OK, fine. What well, happened? Oh, they're good, just not good enough. No, it's not extremely difficult. I don't want anybody thinking that I don't know how to poach eggs, OK? I do. How's the eggs? About to find out. Trev is the egg man. What does that make you, the walrus? No, nope, I'm just joking. The last four here. See, some of these are fucked. That's overcooked. You want it to be like this. See that? I see it. Ah, I think you went through white eggs, brown eggs, white eggs again. It's poaching eggs. Trev, use your teammates as well around you to check for your eggs, because I don't want to go through this again. I'm done with salmon. Can I come over and? Oh, why don't let's let's get everybody on poached eggs with me, so I just look like the biggest idiot in the fucking world. Lighten up. You'll be all right. It's getting old. I gotta do them again. Trevor. With the rookies yet to return from their reward, the veterans are busy prepping both kitchens. See, some of these are fucked. Those eggs aren't good. And Trevor has failed repeatedly to please Chef Jockey with his yeah. poached eggs. Fucking cocksucking son of a bitch. It's getting old. I gotta do them again. Trevor! This Chef Jockey. Oh. Where's your eggs? Show me your eggs. I'm still getting the tail, though. Yeah, that's I mean, I normally it's nicer. Get... Yeah. OK, that's it's, what... it's much better than you had before. OK. Beautiful. All right. I don't say. You are the egg man, yeah. I can do things. Go fuck your eggs. With the red team back from Palm Springs. Hi, Chef. Let's go. Chef Ramsay is making sure everyone is set up for success before he opens Hell's Kitchen. Is the oven cranked up? I have it at four, uh, 460, Chef. Yeah, good. Literally six minutes, six minutes. Out, right. flip, and kiss. Everybody knows how to cook in here, right? We just all got to learn how to talk. Let's do it. It's not rocket science, kids. Mourinho. See, you, Chef. Open health kitchen, please. Let's go. Show this up. Whether they've come for the food or the stargazing, the restaurant is filled with excited guests. Yay! On top of Chef Ramsay's classic menu. Yeah. Scallops to start with. Sexy right on top, Marlino. Sexy right on top. Or... They may also enjoy a gourmet clam chowder, which will be prepared tableside by Gizzy for the red team and Brett for the blue team. It's it a little hot. Oh, no, it's amazing. Go blue team. And with comedians Cheryl Hines and Rachel Harris. It smells so good already. And Academy Award nominee Morgan Spurlock dining in each kitchen. There will be extra pressure on both teams tonight. Right, let's go, red team. Go, here we go, Air guys. pump. Let's go. On order, two twos, one special chowder table side. How long? Seven minutes. One carbonara, on. Two flatbread, roll. Yes, hey, yes, yes, Let's go. Do that one, start working two more doughs for flatbread. Yes, ma'am. The red team is feeling really good right now. Watch it, though. We're making the all-stars look like amateurs, and I just want us to keep the momentum going. Can you set this in there? I have a sheet pan. It's in there. I'm just pointing right here. OK. I don't know where it's at. It's right it. here. Look, it's right it's, here. Well, I can't see it. I'm tall as fuck. Mia is somebody who's hard to deal with. It's just always something, the littlest thing. It's not a big deal, Mia. Come on. It's not a big deal, but Ready? you're standing stop, there. Stop, stop. Scott Lee is used to people standing down to him. And I know I'm a foot and a half shorter than he is, but I'm not just going to let him tell me, you know, how to run my station. So I have everything I need. OK. He's standing there. I'm asking him to put it away. No, I'm not. Stop right, yelling. Squash it out. Hey, sorry. don't do this dumb shit. 
With temperatures rising in the red kitchen, the first ticket of the night has just arrived in the blue kitchen. Okay, here we go. Four covers, table 22, one special chowder table side. Two scallops, one tart tart. Yes, scallops are going in the pan. Heard. Everyone's biggest fear on the fish station is definitely the scallops, but my scallops are going to be perfect tonight. Scallops are the pass. Heard. Yes. Scallops, please. Let's go. Out in one. Good. Let's go. Good. Wow. First table out, not a glitch, not even a hit anywhere. Decisiveness, rhythm, yes? Yes, yes chef. Chef, chef. Let's go. Oh, so awesome. With the veterans shining bright on appetizers, over in the red kitchen, the rookies are hoping to get in a groove. On order four covers, table 50. Two flatbreads, one octopus, one special chowder table side. Yes, yes chef. Actress from the Goldbergs, VIP, let's go. So I'm working two flatbread here. They're working so fast. Where you need me, guys? Come right here. You're right here? This. All right. Why aren't you table side, young lady? I'm helping you. Fucking hell. Gizzy's here doing Mia's flatbread. Did you ask her to stay in here? No, chef. I didn't ask for her help, but she offered, so if you're busy, dude, go away. I got this. Mia, table side is what? Table. Why are you doing the flatbread over your table side? Scott, Lee, and Mia should have been like, hey, what are you doing here? I think you have a table side, and you weren't even here to fucking hear it. And you were in there doing flatbread. Yep, I got I you. I mean, going to it sucks. <laughs> Hi, ladies. How are you doing? How are you? Very good. As Gizzy shows up fashionably late to her tables, over on the blue side. Yeah, I took a break from the business in my early 20s, then immediately went back in it. I hear Hell's Kitchen, I have so many interactions with everyday people. Sometimes I wonder why I come back and then I realize to win Hell's Kitchen, right? <laughs> Just schmoozing, as my father would say. Most definitely. So we're still winning this special order. Yeah, but uh, that's taking us going first, right? Yeah, no, but he's taking too long. Like, Brits! We're gonna put the Brits in. Speed oh, yeah, up! Yes, yeah, Chef. You're backing up your kitchen now. Oh, Speed up! Yes, yeah, Chef. Well, he wants us to chat with the customers and yabba dabba do and greet them and then it's shut the fuck up and cook. Well, I tell you, the stress that goes into this. While Brett stalls the blue kitchen, over in the red kitchen, Hurry up, let's go. the rookies have kicked it into gear on appetizers mm, oh good. Oh good. and are ready to move on to entrees. Where do you need me, guys? Two minutes, I got on order, chef table at five. VIP, entree, one beef, one pork. Yes, 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 chef. Is the pork in the oven? Pork's on the grill. Why's the pork just gone off? You don't have another pork? Ah. Oh, shit, stop. Oh, fucking hell. What in the fuck? Out of the way. Hey, Red Team, come here. Who put this in the oven? What the hell is that? Who did it? On a night with celebrities sitting at the chef's tables. Who put this in the oven? Chef Ramsay has made a shocking discovery. Who did it? That has him angry and embarrassed. Seems like they're a little stressed out right now. <laughs> I don't understand how you could be cooking fish in that oven all night long. The first thing I notice when I open the oven is the fucking pan of pork chop. 18 season, I've never seen a pig so fucked as that. Fuck. I hate this pork dish. It's stupid. It should be on the fucking meat. It should not be on fish station. Fuck off you, will you? Yeah. But who the fuck put the pork chop in my oven? Literally six minutes, six in. minutes. Out, oh, flip, and kiss. What the fuck? How the fuck did I miss that? OK, here we go. Entree to Halibut to New York Strip. Yeah. Yeah. In we go. The strip, the strip. Oh. I'm kind of getting annoyed that we keep losing. There's a couple of us that are consistently doing what we're supposed to do. And there's a couple that waver between they're good or they're not. Can you at least season these for me? If you, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. I know, I know, man. Hey, hey, don't eat it up, dude. Gently touch it. New York strip and fries, yes? Right. Walk to the window, walk to the window, walk to the window. Got New York's. Yeah, I'm right behind down, down, the right chef. Kevin, they're not even hot. Let's touch them. That, no, I've got fucking they're in the oven for the middle. Hey, Kevin, Kevin. Hey, in the fucking pan. There's a pan smoking there. Why is he so cute when he yells? Because he's British. I'm not throwing out cold fucking food, guys. Instead of using me as a utility that can help him out, it's more like, I'm just going to do it. Just get the fuck out of the way. All right, man. I'm going to turn that, oh, that, that one down, down a little bit. While Kevin chooses to fly solo on the meat station, back in the red kitchen, Chris is hoping to put the pork disaster behind him. Where's the pork? Where's the, the pork? Where's the pork? Right 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 now. There you go, baby. There you go. Nice. 
Thank you very much. Let's go. One beef, one summer, one halibut, one New York strip. Yes, yes sir. sir. How long in the halibut? One halibut, a minute and a half. Let's go. New York strip, fries. Can I slice beef wellington? She's asking about the beef wellington. Can I slice beef wellington? Do not, do not, do not. Wait, we should be walking right now. Y'all are killing my meats, dude. In this brigade system, we need to be in sync, because if he's off on his times, that's going to fuck me. What are we actually waiting on? Yeah, I need two and a half minutes on Sam and Harvey, please. It was just 90 seconds. Just let me know when you're planning on walking in as well, please. I'm ready to walk. None of my fish are up here. If you don't see my fish on a sizzle pan, why are you walking? So Chef thinks that you're on time and I'm behind? Fuck, man. Walking behind. You're walking fish. 10 seconds, yeah. please. I all of you come down here. Let's play Guess the Temperature. Don't touch it. Guess it just with your eyes. Medium well. Medium well. Over, doesn't. Over done. Little wave to it as well. And, Medium well, chef. And Medium well, chef. Can I have a fucking steak? You got it, chef. Cool, guys. Come the fuck on, dude. I'm trying really hard to be on point with all of my food. It sucks when it's being brought down by someone else. Fine. Right. Okay. While the red team works through their timing issues, Chef Ramsey is still waiting on season six runner-up, Kevin. New York Strip. To get it together in the blue kitchen. Come on, Kevin. Right behind, right behind, right behind, please. In front, Chef, there you go, Chef. Go. Okay. Mm, so tender. One beef, one lamb, one halibut, and salmon. Thank yes, you, Chef. Chef. Step into it. I feel like all the right components of a great team are here. We just need to get back on track. Right behind. Hey, blue team. Yeah. Kevin and Trev, just step down here a minute. Yeah, what is that? That's overcooked lamb, chef. Yes. Who cooked this? We did. We did? Ah, oh, fuck it now. Trevor, what are you talking about? Don't say shit that ain't true. Guys. I have a lamb right now. Right now. Right, right now, now we have it. Fucking hell. Stop. Blue team, come here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit. Not looking forward to this one. has been a rough service in the veterans' kitchen. Fucking hell. Stop. Blue team, come here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Kevin's inconsistency on the meat station has their celebrity guests wondering if this is the final curtain. Where did going up? everybody go? I don't know. What is happening? We're fucking slow. That's over medium to well, and this one's more in the middle. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, I just need some bollocks in here, yep. quickly. <laughs> And I mean fucking quickly. Yes, pick chef. it up, guys. Let's yes, go. Chef. Come on, Before tonight, I was comfortable working with Kevin. I thought no matter where we would put him, he would be great. Mm, not so much at this point. I got it. I got it. I know. I just didn't want to. I got it. I got it. Just fuck it. All right. Be, yeah. Okay. If sorry, I'm going to go down, let me go down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you out, dick. All right. It's ready. Let me know what's right ready now. ready to go. Double check it Three just to make sure, going. Kevin. Here we go. Third time lucky. The lamb's fucking raw. Again? Oh, my god. Overcooked, undercooked, raw. What? What? What is happening? What is happening, guys? What is happening, guys? Because it's fucking not right. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not even getting an answer now. Never had a seriously bad night in Hell's Kitchen. Ever, but tonight was pretty bad. I got a lamb here. With Chef Ramsay shepherding the blue team's lamb. Come on, guys, finish strong, please. Send that, please. The kitchens are now finishing off the last few tickets of the night. 41 and 51 dessert. 51, 41 dessert, Chef. Finish strong, guys. Come on, finish strong. Come on, guys, push it, OK? We got it. The meringue is absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's really good. guys were in oblivion this evening. Oblivion. There were so many careless errors in both kitchens. I actually felt we went backwards. 
So it's very difficult for me to decide which team was worse. But here's my decision. The losing team tonight is the blue team. And the red team. I need both teams to head into the dorms and come back with two nominees for elimination. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's just cut to the chase. The meets were the issue, right? Meets was the issue. That's the station. It has got to be you and Ken and Trev, yeah? Yeah. There's no need to discuss anything right. else. I didn't pull my weight tonight. I'll stand up for responsibility. That's what you're supposed to do. We were on meets, and we were a team. Done and done. We'll get lucky, and there was a worse performance over in the red team. And Kevin and I can squeak by with this not pristine service. Enough. All right, we're done. It is what it is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say, Chris, because everybody thought that you didn't know what time it was, you were never certain with not one time. Anytime I needed that extra time, I said the time that I needed. Every time. I was so communicative tonight. No one else was. No one fucking said we're back. That pork chop, that's what fucking threw me under. I'm going to go with Chris and Scott Lee. Where you tell me, you know, you're too snappy. You and are. I, I man up to where I wrong. You said, oh, I always cut you off. You, you just start... cut me off just now. You just did. Like, That's why I'm nominating you. Givy, Chef Ramsey was pissed about that table side, and I think that's one of the reasons why we lost tonight, too. Why you guys didn't say anything? Do you think that if we knew you had a table side, we would have just let you be in the kitchen? It doesn't really fucking matter what they say. I think what matters is what Chef Ramsey thinks, and if he wants me to be here, then I'll stay. And I really hope that's, that's the case, because I don't want that one silly mistake to send me home. After an abysmal dinner service by both the rookies and the veterans, Chef Ramsey has asked each team to nominate two members for elimination. Reds, blue team's first nomination and why? First nomination is uh, Kevin Chef. Based on tonight's performance, uh, leading the meat station. Uh, station went down hard. OK, blue team's second nomination and why? Uh, Trevor Chef. Being that they were working as a pair, seemed to be our uh, most disastrous station this evening. Scott Lee, red team's first nomination and why? First nomination is Chris Chef. He got bombarded with a lot of fish orders and it kind of frazzled him. Red team's second nominee and why? Second one is Gizzy, because she was the first one to lead with apps on table side and felt like the ball was dropped on that part. OK, Trevor. Kevin, Gizzy, Chris, step forward. Gizzy, do you think you're the weakest chef on your team? No, chef. Who is then? I believe that Chris is the weakest individual. Chris chef. is? Yes, chef. Chris. Yes, chef. If you're not the weakest in your team, who is? Uh, I would say Mia, chef. Mia. Why? You need to be able to lead, and she doesn't lead. She demands. She demands things. Trevor. Yes, Chef. What did you do tonight? Work the meats with Kevin. What did you actually cook physically? Nothing. Nothing. Kevin, bad service, right? Absolutely, Chef. All I can say is I hit the ground running, I dust it off, and I move forward. That's what leaders do, pick up and go. My decision is... Kevin, take your jacket off. After both teams struggled through their third dinner service, Chef Ramsey has asked both the rookies and the veterans to put up two people for elimination. Kevin, bad service, right? Absolutely, Chef. Kevin, Trevor, Gizzy, and Chris were nominated by their teams. All I can say is I hit the ground running, I dust it off, and I move forward. That's what leaders do, pick up and go. My decision is... Kevin. 
Take your jacket off. Kevin? Yes, Chef. You're going to the red team. Yes, Chef. Gizzy. What does the table side mean? By the table, Chef. That's right. Give me a jacket. I expected more from you, you know that. I expected more from myself, Chef. Yeah, well, let's see how you do in the blue team. <gasps> Get over there. Thank you, Chef. Trevor, give me a jacket, young man. Get yourself in the red team. Chris, shit night tonight. Yes, Chef. Last chance. Red team, back in line. Yes, Chef. Mia and Kane, take off your jackets. You're going to the blue team. Brett, take off your jacket. You're going to the red team. Yes, chef. Rookies versus veterans. Forget it. The experiment is over. With both teams not performing, I need to change the chemistry in both kitchens. It's now men versus women. Now, do me a big favor. Fuck off with you. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm so excited. I'm off of Scott Lee's team. I feel like this guy is going to end up digging his own grave. I think this change is a good thing. Time to so kill it. It's back to basics, guys versus girls. We'll see what happens. Oh, my god. I'm about to cry. Chef Ramsey, I'm very sorry for letting you down, but I feel like you believe in me. And I'm going to take this new opportunity and really use it to my advantage, and I will show you. I will show you that I'm meant to be here. Rookies, veterans, the only title I really care about is executive chef. It's time to see who will lead and who will fall. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, it's an all-new House of Horrors. And the terrifying new teams are scaring up drama. Never at a loss for words right now. I'm a little, huh? Will one rookie's nerves... She's a little nervous. ...create a descent into madness? It's like a murder scene over here. Mark, she cut again. Then he's just slaughtering Beef Wellington. Ending in an all-out bloodbath. She's crazy. Tell her to stop doing it. And will one veteran torture a rookie just for the fun of it? Fucking watch your fast and tell us and talk to us. <laughs> it's all next time. Are you trying to be funny? On a frightening episode. Oh, of Hell's Kitchen.